Hi guys, Brett Parker here, Handicap to Scratch. Today, I'm going to have a look at my uh, golf clubs. Uh, specifically, I'm going to look at what's in my bag for 2017. Do I need to improve on anything? Do I need to look at anything going forward into 2017? Are there any glaring obvious things uh, in my bag? So, if you haven't seen already, um, I did a video on my game golf stats, which were specifically looking at my... Uh, Kind of my game golf insights, if you like, and looking into um, the distances of the clubs, dispersion, front to back, etc. etc. Um, today, we're going to specifically look at what club does what in my bag, if that makes sense. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, the only club that's not on here is my putter, for obvious reasons, uh, no matter what, I'm going to need a putter. Um, let's have a look at the club. So, I'm going to write down the typical distances now. So, I'll just put the typical. Um, these are all from my Game Golf stats. If you haven't seen it, go and check out the video. Um, you can also check out my Game Golf, which is in the link description down below. Uh, so 226 with my driver, 240 with my three wood, uh, 212 with my hybrid, 182 on the four iron, 173 on the five, 157 on the six, 153 for seven. 141 one on the 8, 126, 120. And then for the last three wedges, um, obviously game golf's a little bit harder to specifically say what they are because of, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, I could be using it for bump and roll and things like that. So uh, I'll put down what I work to, which is 100, 90, and then 80. Um, and then that kind of rounds up to my bag from game golf. Now, um, if we take a different colour, throw it around. Uh, if we take a different colour, um, a few things that I want to correct from game golf. So for the distances here, there's no way my six iron goes four yards longer than my seven. I think this is more likely to be a one six three, um, which then makes it fit in one eight, say one eight three, one eight seven three, one six three, one five three, one four three, um, one three three. I think this would expect to be, but. That's yet to be determined. Obviously, game golf is a uh, can't be a million miles away there, but the dispersion in here and here was around 130. I'd probably be a little bit happier. Um, so that's the only one that stands out for me is this doesn't really line up. Um, I've also tested this. Um, so the three hybrid and the four iron. Um, the three hybrid I think is a little bit inflated because I do use it off the tee to position myself a little bit better. Um, I think in reality, this one is closer to 200. Um, again, it fits in a little bit better in here. Um, you could say that this should be about 193, but with it being a hybrid and my higher launch, etc. Um, about 200 off the floor from GC2, my testing at Harford, that's what it comes out at. So that's what I'm gonna to work to. Um, other than that, all the other numbers, I can't really argue with, they are what they are. Um, Again, the three words, this is perhaps a little bit inflated in the sense that I hit it a lot off the tee. It's probably closer to 220 in reality if I was to hit these off the floor. Uh, but that high up, these two, I'm, I'm fairly happy with. Now, I said mentioned the putter is the only club in my bag that I need. Um, driver, it's not necessarily a club in my bag that I need, but it's a club in my bag that's going to stay, let's be honest. So, um, yeah, so they're the, the club distances that I've got. Let's grab a different colour, and then we're just going to take a look at what are the differences in um, yardage difference? So first one, 26, I'm gonna work to um, the yardage that I know it is. I think it's a better option. Um, 40, uh, 18, nine, no it's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was right, <laughs> I'm reading it though, forget it. Uh, in there is 10, 10, 12, 15, 6, 20, uh, 10, and 10. So, um, yes, I'm a rubbish handwriter, but unfortunately I'm playing golf, not handwriting, so uh, you have to excuse me, hopefully you can read these. Um, so at the top of the bag, 26 is not really, yeah, I'm not really too bothered about that. Um, my driver is always gonna go a lot further than the next club in the bag. This is a big problem for me. Um, it's a glaringly obvious problem that I can see. Down here, there's a 20 yarder in here, and also there's an 18 in here. So they're the three that I'm looking at. Um, in here as well, 15. It's difficult to say that that's necessarily a problem. This could so easily have been 145, and then it, it kind of fits in line. Um, or even if it was 143, it'd put it up to 10. 
that's not actually 15 either, that's 12. Um, yeah, that would uh, kind of line up a little bit better if that was the case, and uh, it's not 15 because that's 15, not 12. Yeah. <laughs> no, me. That's 15 in between here, so that's necessarily, it could, could be a slight problem, although I think this is probably more closer to 130 than it is to 125. Um, and if we made that, uh, let me just get the other pen, if we made that 130, that would put me 10 yards in here and then 10 yards in here. So I think that's probably closer to 130 than it is 125, um, but these are the, the numbers that I'm working on in a minute. So, Let's look down here. So we've got 20 in here, 18 and 40. They're the, the ones that I kind of stuck out. This one in the middle, I'm not really too bothered about it. So it could skew either way in terms of our distances. So, where, what clubs in my bag do I use the most? Well, obviously drivers staying in. Three wood I specifically bought recently for better positioning. The three hybrid I kind of need because I need that 200 yard marker and I don't have anything else in there to get it. Four, five, all the way to nine, you know, they're, they're going to stay in my bag, they're, they're the clubs that I use. Pitch and wedge and all the way down to 60. They're a question. Um, so all the clubs in here are questions. And it's not so much questions, do I need clubs that fit in this gap? Yes, I definitely need clubs in this gap. But do I need four that fit in this gap? So um, if I look at specifically in my game right now, what clubs do I use? Well, 60 degree, that stays 100% in my bag. I use that every single round, almost in every hole. If I miss a green, I'm getting up and down with the uh, 60 degree. Uh, 52, if it's under 100 yards, I'm 100% using that. 50 to 100 yards, I'm always using that 52 degree. Um, I've got you know, hip heights, ch shoulder heights, and full swing heights for um, distances, and 52 will be the one to use. The one I don't use, and I can't remember actually the last time I did use, would be my 56. Um, so this would be the question for me. Well, do I really need this club? And not only do I need this club, but this club would be the club to go if I felt there was a need elsewhere. So, I've done testing, I have replaced a club in my bag and it is this one that's coming out um the the gap in here i think i can take up with the 52 degree i have this set up for one reason and one reason only when i first started in playing golf i watched rick peter uh, rick and peter on youtube this was the setup they had now i'm not sure if they still have this setup or whether it's something different but this is the setup i had they had so guess what i went and did I went with the exact same setup that they did. No fitting, no nothing, just they got these three, so I'm, that must be what I have. Now that I'm a little bit more, I'm not going to say the word intelligent, because that, you know, that's probably the wrong word, but a little bit more um, knowledgeable in terms of like the things that I need in my game, as opposed to just looking at other people and following what they do in their game, um, I'm noticing that this just isn't a club that I need. Um, I had a brief chat with Dan about it, just a quick one, and he kind of said, well, if you don't use it, take it out, you might as well replace it. Um, you know, you've got a limited number of clubs in your bag, why take up a space that you're not using? So, the area I wanted to address is up here, um, and specifically I wanted to address the uh, the bit between the 3 hybrid and the 3 wood. Um, the 3 hybrid and the 4 iron didn't bother me too much, you know, I could bring the 3 hybrid down a little bit from the 200 and to there, um, and I could probably get a little bit more out of the 4-iron if I really went for it. So I could get that up to say 185 to 190 and I could bring this down to 195 to 190. So if I needed to get those distances, I could get it. The problem is with my 3-hybrid off the floor, 200 to 205 I think was the highest I could possibly get with it. Um, without feeling like this just isn't a sustainable swing. So it's this, this, this gap in here, this 40 gap, that I'm really concerned about. Now... As I mentioned, the, the, the 240 could come down to about 220, 225. So, um, you know, potentially this is a 25 gap rather than a 40. But even so, that 25 gap is a big gap. And it's a big gap because if I've got, say, a 210, 215, or even a 220 par 3, I almost have to... I can't hit this because I know it's coming short. And I can't hit this because if I hit it off the tee, then it's going too far, as you can see. It's going way too far. I almost have to grip down on it or even just put it on the floor so that you know the contact's perhaps not as good and I, I can't get it I can't lean back on it I've got to hit over it but then I'm almost trying to manufacture a shot I'm almost trying to hit it worse to get it to the distance so the club that I've taken a look at 
Um, let's get a different colour. Is a 2TMB. This is the club that I've actually purchased now to replace my 56 degree um, wedge. Um, from testing, I got between 210 to about 215. Obviously, this is going to vary slightly as I uh, go up. Um, it's going to be a kind of a similar club to my three wood, but without that, that bit more help for launch, it's a little bit, you know, it's still going to help me with launch and things, but it's going to be a bit more like play like an iron. So off the tee, it's going to go, you know, somewhere in the region of 230. This 210 to 215 was just hitting off a mat. Um, so potentially I could go to about 230 um, off a tee, which gives me nice options for positioning in, in certain par fours and things like that as well. Um, that would reduce this down to uh, about 10 to 15 in from your three hybrid to the two TMB and then also gap that next section as well quite nicely. And it, the biggest reason I put it in my bag is that 210 to 215 or even the 200 to 215, there are so many par threes, especially now that I'm uh, competing in tournaments and you know, travelling some big courses and nice courses, that yardage, there's plenty of par threes that come in that yardage and currently it's a real problem for me. I almost have to play it as a par four, except that I'm going to miss or go long, go short, and then have to go up and down. Um, so this is an area that I definitely had to address, and I have. Um, stay tuned, I am going to do a what's in the bag for 2017, what I'm doing with the clubs that I've got, what the things that I've changed, what clubs I actually have in my bag. But essentially, this is my setup right now. I've taken out a 56 and put in a 2, 2 MB hybrid, the Titleist TMB. Um, and I tried a number of different ones, but the two was the one that fit best in my back. Um, sorry that I uh, kind of rambled on a little bit. Um, is this something that you've done? Is this something that you've looked at? Um, do you know your distances? Are they true? Do they actually go as far as you think? There's so many different pros out there now with uh, GC2 and Trackman. You can you know, get sessions where they can actually gap you for the session, the, the club, each club in your bag. It's well worth doing. Um, are the clubs in your bag meeting the needs you need? What a lot of people tend to do is put four wedges in, like I have, but in reality, you need the help higher up. Yes, it's great to have the versatility of four different wedges and play loads of different shots and you can be like Phil, Phil Mickelson and play, you know, 15 different wedges in your bag, but there's not a need at, at my level and our level, uh, and you know, obviously I don't know what level you guys are at, but at the level we're at as amateurs, four wedges is a bit overkill in the sense that you can achieve a lot with the other clubs. Up here is generally where people struggle the most and they don't actually fill that gap. So um, do you have a higher top end or a higher lower end? If you have a higher lower end, make sure that it is of benefit to you and you are gaining from having that lower bottom end. Uh, bottom end. Um, yeah, and comment down below. What are you going to do to check these distances coming into 2017? Are you going to check them? Are you confident with what you've got? Like the video if you've liked this style of video. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.